Originally built in the 1890s, this 3,400 square foot house is in the Tri-Taylor neighborhood, which is 10 minutes from downtown. You walk up to this beautiful brick house. It's been here for a long time. Hi. Hi. The Musufs are this young, vibrant couple that are just fun, funny, full of life. I said yes to them because I really, really liked them. Great taste, high-end taste. And now it's just, how do we make this come together? And in a really fast time frame, because they want to move in. And by keeping them right on budget, if not saving them money. OK, let me ask you one question. My first and initial thought is obviously the exterior. Thing. Our plan was to paint the bricks in white, okay. all the way up and down, okay. and then paint the windows in black. So you want that black and white vibe? Yes. Yeah, okay. exactly. Yeah. So now that we've come in from outside, this has to be something. Yeah. It's all about the railing. What were you thinking with the actual treads and the risers? We really don't have much plans for this. I was going to say, exactly. there's a reason you called. <laughs> exactly. We need help. We need help. <laughs> Another big thing is our staircase. You know, we have four stories here, and there's going to be a lot of railing, so we need to get that the right way. Should we go wood, 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 or wood, and then the white finish? You know what I would do? I would do the stairs in all black. Oh. Mm, that's cool. <laughs> because now you can save the money, not replace the treads, not replace the risers, keeping exactly what's here, painting it, doing that new beautiful railing in black and brass and save the money. If I found something really beautiful from like an old build here in Chicago and then that is black also and that starts the railing so it softens it up here. It's a really good idea. So you've got all these sight lines. You walk in, you're like, whoa. Oh, man, but whoa. this is the big, big wow factor, right? That monstrosity yes. of a fireplace. Long fireplace. It's huge. <laughs> Let's say we have Ari build a beautiful wood mantle. No reclaimed piece, but just new. And let me work on this. Let me draw this out. Let's see the rest of it. You know, this whole space is, is open. Wait, wait, wait. What about the wine cellar? You want that to be a wine cellar? Yeah, yeah we were, we're planning to put a glass here and a glass on the other oh, side. I like it. Yeah. Make a use of the space. Yeah. Well, yeah, because this is dead cool. space anyway. Yeah. That's a really cool, cool thought. We want to have that big grand hood. I want cabinetry all the way up to the ceiling. All right. Should we head to the basement? Basement. Yeah. Okay, I'm let's go. First. My concern is budget, because it's a big house. This is a big project. Let's go to the main room. This is where we truly need your help. I just love that this all is yours. I know. This is your true hideaway. Right. Here, walk into the main closet. And then. A huge vanity. Vanity wow. here, double vanity. Yeah. So we'll come up with something really cool there. I love this. It's just totally open. You're standing in the shower. Oh, so this is the shower. Right. Yeah. yeah. This whole thing is glass, exactly. too? Exactly. And that's it, a full display. You're going to be putting on some sexy shower <laughs> <laughs> And we left and this fireplace. all for you. I told them, don't touch it. Really, it all starts with the mantle. I want to find okay. the mantle and then build around that. We have an awesome roof deck. Oh, through that? That's why I was like, where does that go? Yeah. yeah. So you've got private patio yeah. here for the main. Right. This door goes away, mm -hmm. and that goes up to a roof deck. This is awesome. Talk about a good start. <laughs> and if you're stuck on some of those things, I mean, that's, that's really where I excel. So what I'm thinking is this. So I want to work within your budget. So I need to know just what is your kind of what's your all-in number for all of the fixtures and finishes. So, you know, we have pretty much done the build outs, and for the finishes, um, I was thinking um, about like 150,000. And that you're talking about stair railing, glass oh, enclosures, tile, cabinets, cabinets countertops. Okay. Um, that goes fast. At our office today, big design meeting with Amin and Nahal. To be honest, this budget is really tight. They want really high-end stuff, and I'm trying to help them save so I can actually spend in the areas that matter the most. How are you guys? Good, good, good to see you. Good Hello, to everyone. see you too. Hi. Are you so excited for your house? Yes, we so are. Excited. Well, we're so excited. Everybody worked really, really hard on this. During the presentation, we walk them through each and every room and each and every finish in those rooms. This is the front. Oh, okay. This is the one you like. 
This is the one I love. We're gonna stick with the original brick color and also we're gonna trim out the windows in black. Okay, so you walk in your new front door. We obviously know about that fireplace wall. In the living room, we're gonna keep the fireplace around really simple with an array of pendant lights hanging from the ceiling and the stair railing is gonna be anchored with a salvage newel post and the steps and risers are gonna be painted black with a custom wine storage below. Okay, powder room. See? Whoa. Amin and Nahal really want a floating vanity in the powder room. In the kitchen, we're gonna install a massive island with seating, a huge range with a custom hood, and plenty of bar space and storage. I really do see you sitting at this island, right. like nonstop. Exactly. I think this is where you're spending your time. Yeah. Cocktails, right, coffee, right, right. Exactly. informal lunches or dinners, because right. this is truly mm -hmm. like a parlor. In the basement, we're gonna add a dry sauna next to the gym and a beautiful theater room. On the second floor, we're gonna add black iron railings down the hall. We have a home office and another bedroom and bathroom. White, 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 yeah. black hardware, beautiful mirrors. In the main bedroom, we have a beautiful custom closet, a sexy bathroom, a huge vanity, and a one-of-a-kind fireplace. All right, I'm gonna show them the door. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. We have to find ways to save money on this budget, and I feel like this door is a really good start. So here is the door. <gasps> oh my god. I told you. It's Beautiful. a huge door. Honestly, Ari probably would have charged me seven grand. Oh, no. 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 And now we get this for zero. Obviously, I bought this a long time ago. I don't even know what I paid for it, so it's free for you. Thank you. You're welcome. so much, Allison. I love it. Drywall's almost done, cabinets are going up, flooring is going down, and while the work continues on the job site, I'm gonna go check in with Ari. I am out in Germantown, here to see Ari. I had to bring him out this newel post I just found and go over the list of things that I need him to do for Amin and Nahal. Hello. Hey, what's up? Ooh, more, more treasures. How beautiful is this? That thing looks heavy. The Newell Post is something that I have been searching for for a really long time. It's clean lines, but then it's got this really beautiful, sexy curve to the top finial, but it's in bad shape. It needed to be brought to you to doctor up. Yeah. So this is <laughs> one. The kitchen's so cool. Like everything about it, the cabinets, the countertops, the appliances. And we have this island supported by this really cool base. This is the one that's getting that really cool hexagon kitchen island base. Oh, okay, yeah. That's so it. it's that shashubi? Shashugi bun. The intent is to burn the top of it so it's crackled in black and then wrap the base of it in shim stock. So that's brass with the black, duh. I think if we did it out of like a timber or, you know, the tree chunk and then you get that cool texture to it, you know, because it's going to crack through there and then this will be a clean applied thing on the bottom. When I asked him what he was going to do, like how he was going to build it, make it, he was like, let's just go look for a log. I'm like, all right, I'll just follow your lead, whatever. Hey, what about that beautiful one? This one? Yeah. Let me see that template. That might fit, be perfect. It looks perfect, and it's all stripped down already. That needs to be a little bigger. They have the template that we created, and they're putting the template on top of this log. And I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. Like, what's the point? What's he doing? And really, he's going to make the actual base and then carve it with the chainsaw. Now that Ari has returned to the city with all my pieces ready to install, I'm just gonna head to Harrison and check in on his progress. A ton has gotten done. Jesus has installed the front door and the kitchen French doors, and the house is really starting to come together. Look at this door! That door is installed and it is grand. It's so tall, it's so different from the first door in white, pretty standard, basic. Yeah. Looks so, so good, honey. To walk in from this grand entry that now fits this home and to just beeline it to those beautiful French doors that I got in Atlanta, I mean, they're showstoppers. They really are. That's what do you cool. need? Do you need to fix this one? Yeah, we need to put it up. If he can help yeah, you with we'll that. Give you hand. Nelson, will you help yes. too? To have them hung and to have your eye go right to them, that was the whole point. I want them to be a talking point, even if they're not functional. 
I know that Amin and Nahal know that those doors don't need to close and they probably won't ever close them, but you just want to stare at them. Oh, look at that. Cool, right? Yeah, cool. Having that pedestal come in to that kitchen, it looks so good. It weighs like 400 pounds, too. Is it really? Solid. Is it? It's not solid, yeah. liar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's my God. Out salad. And this oh, grass, nice. the patina's perfect. Yeah, and I yeah, love these. Wanna... Uh, so if you like the patina, we got to have to polyurethane so it doesn't keep on patina Let's more. poly this okay. right away. Is I don't. It... And also, with the humidity in this house and the weather the way it is, yeah. I do not want this thing changing. I don't want that. That's already getting too dark, to be honest with okay, you. Okay, so I'll sand it down. Walking up to the main bedroom, the minute that I saw that closet, I I was just blown away. This looks like a, like a high-end boutique. It's just, it's a show-stopping closet. And it, that's a, a wardrobe of most people's dreams. This looks unbelievable. The main fireplace, having it kind of pieced together, having the tile done, pulled the tile in from the shower floor back into the fireplace, beautiful herringbone black marble. And then you hit that with that gorgeous brass draping insert. And then to do that burnt wood on the sides of it just looks, it just looks so good. That's just my style, that's my taste. It's sleek and it's modern and it's sexy and it's old with the new, from the Newell post to the French doors to the really cool pedestal in the kitchen that is new but looks old. And they wouldn't have had that if we didn't help. <laughs> we didn't really have to do much to the front, right. except paint the windows, okay. add some lighting, because there was no exterior lighting whatsoever. Right. And that door makes oh, all the difference. Gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Beautiful. Excited to go inside. I know. Come on. <laughs> I know. Get up. Oh my god. Welcome home. Wow. Oh my god, look at this place. Oh my, this is everything we ever wanted, wanted. right? <laughs> oh my god. Ta da! This is it. And it's that moment of pure happiness. These, right, these, these are beautiful. They match this flooring. It has you know? so much character, it gets yeah, so much character. Huge. This, the doors, everything, everything, just... And history, this Newell post. Oh my God. Think about how beat up this yeah. thing was. When you walk inside, you feel like you are just in another world and the space feels cozy and comfortable and very organic. Now you just come into the greatest kitchen oh ever done. Oh my God. God, look at this place. Look oh, at the wall. <laughs> So oh my god. This kitchen is no joke the most beautiful kitchen gorgeous that we've ever done. I was ever not done. expecting this. <laughs> this is the money shot. I love it. You turn around and you still get to see your whole kitchen in that mirror. I'm definitely canceling my gym membership. <laughs> Work out, sauna, stay inside. We definitely wanted one. Every single thing you could ever imagine in this house. Massive media oh room. Oh my god. Wow. wow. <laughs> you got a huge TV. Right. This is such a great use of space. This looks I much love bigger. The chairs. You love I know. The chairs. I love the chairs. They're so beautiful. <laughs> You can't get better than this. You have everything that anyone could ever want in their home. Then there's two more levels. 